Hey tubers, welcome to a very, very um, special uh, mystery commentary today. Today I'm going to do Zerg Bong versus Midas. Get pumped. Okay, let, let me give you the stats here. Looks like Zerg Bong has a um, whopping 14% versus Terran record. That's that's almost 20. And um, screw it, boxer versus reach. That's right. I'm gonna do the E Stars Heritage Tournament today, and I I wanted to do this match in particular because this is going to be freaking fantastic. Uh, you you thought I was actually gonna do Zerg Bong versus whoever, didn't you? Didn't you? Too bad. I'm gonna do this instead. The two old school powerhouses duking it out here today in one of the coolest coolest tournaments of the year i had no idea that they'd ever do any kind of tournament like this but i am so happy they decided to because i mean i like almost every player in this tournament yeah you know except for toss girl two one zero this is on python yes python the single most overplayed map on battle.net is back for old school awesomeness I can't believe I'm actually commentating on a boxer match. Wow. Okay, it looks like boxer is up here at the whatever position. He's very, very close to reach. Gotta love Python, those super close positions. That'll make uh, drop strategies very, very interesting later. But looks like reach is over here. Um, shirtless at the <laughs> 3 o'clock position in red. Well, actually, he's up there at the 1 o'clock. Boxer is at the 3 o'clock. This is going to be fantastic. Oh, man. But, yeah, I've, I've, I actually watched uh, the three other games of this tournament live, but, and I decided to bail out before this one. Hey, that's Artosis back there. But, anyways, I watched the other three live, and, yeah, they actually weren't that special. I, I mean, Nada versus Naura was okay for a while, but then it just kind of got sad near the end. And <laughs> Toss Girl versus Yellow, oh... I lolled. It was hilarious, but not a very good game at all. You should watch it, though, just to, just to get a few laughs. But <laughs> looks like Boxer is thinking about walling off into his main on Python. The last time I've actually seen a pro game on this map was probably the 2007 uh, OSL Finals. I'm not sure if it was used after that point, but that's the last time I actually rem remember um, this map being played at the pro level. Of course, you see it played on Battle.net ev by every freaking person in the... Everyone uses Python for a map. 1v1 Python, 1v1 Python. God, I get so sick of it. But we'll see what these two can do on this legendary map. Uh, of course, this is so overplayed because it's such a good map. Python is an extremely balanced, extremely awesome map to play on and watch people play on. Looks like Reach going straight for his cybernetics core and he's going out to scout. Usually you see the player scout to the nearest position on this map. Looks like Reach might actually... Oh, he's looking for cheese. He knows Boxer. He's putting a pylon up here just to kind of... He might try to hide some tech later, but we'll see what he does there. And Boxer actually had a uh, pro league game recently that I watched. Uh, I'm going to spoil it, so if you haven't seen it, if, if you haven't seen Boxer vs. 4GG, go watch now. I'm going to spoil. But it was actually a pretty impressive game for the first part of it. I mean, Boxer obviously had practiced a strategy, and he was um, going very well with that strategy for a while, and then he just kind of broke down. Um, you could really tell the difference in uh, the level of play between a player like 4GG and Boxer uh, once it got to the mid game because 4GG knew exactly what to do and he had the most multitasking ability to do it. But Boxer basically left all of his bases undefended. He was very slow to run his SCVs and he just made a lot of poor decisions. He didn't push into the main when he could with the siege tanks and it was just an unfortunate game to watch. I was so excited at the beginning of that game, too, because Boxer was doing so magnificently with his strategy. I mean, he hid uh, <laughs> a machine shop with a barracks, a floating barracks, for God's sake. So he'd obviously planned that out. 
And we'll see if he has anything prepared for this. Looks like he is going to get out his first tank. That will help him uh, fight off the first Dragoon that's coming his way. <laughs> and looks Reach is still looking everywhere. He's like, I know this mofo is going to cheese me. I know it. He's going to float like eight proxy barracks right behind my base, and i got to be prepared for it. But Boxer is coming up here, and Reach is... Oh, Reach did not back up quite a, enough to... Uh, to Get that scout out of there. So Boxer is going to see that Cybernetics Core spinning. He's going to know that Dragoon range is up. So that means a later uh, robotics facility. Might even stay in here long enough to see the robotics. Looks like Boxer is still running away here. Still making sure that Reach did not cancel the uh, spinning uh, Dragoon range upgrade. Sometimes a Protoss will fake a Terran out by letting them see that Cybernetics Core spinning. And then... Uh, to cancel it and go straight for the robotics facility to get fast reavers in there. Looks like Reach is going out for a little bit of early aggression. Both these guys know where each other is, so uh, this is going to be a hilarious game because they're so close. Python always produces hilarious games when uh, players are spawned so close to each other like this. But Boxer is getting ready to put down his uh, <laughs> base over here, and he's going out to scout. I still can't even believe I'm commentating a boxer match. Seriously, I never thought the boxer would get up to... Well, I guess he's not in a super pro uh, position here. He's not in a star league or anything. This is kind of a star league, you know. It's an exhibition type thing. He's, he can win some money, you know. It's real, but <laughs> yeah. It's a very odd thing to actually uh, be saying, Boxer's going to do this, and Boxer's getting ready to drop all over reach. Of course he isn't yet. I'm sure that Boxer is preparing uh, to put down a starport and get a dropship out. There's not really any reason why he shouldn't. Uh, a dropship strategy would work very, very well for him here since he wouldn't have to fly very long at all to um, drop right next to the minerals of reaches. And both guys are going to be very, very mindful of their main minerals. They're both going to keep a very watchful eye on those because they know the other could just go in with a shuttle or a dropship just like that, and your economy is gone. So it looks like Boxer is setting up his defense. He's going out with a hero marine. Going to try to <laughs> scout and see if Reach is taking any bizarre bases, if he's hiding a base anywhere. And Reach is keeping an eye on the same thing, making sure that Boxer does not go for a proxy starport. And yes, I do hope this game kind of bucks the trend of uh, crappy games in this <laughs> tournament so far. Uh, this tournament so far, the first three games have kind of let me know why these guys are not on top anymore because uh, the play from some of the players has just been plain mediocre. But yeah, we'll see what these two guys can do. I think uh, both these guys are very evenly matched. I don't think they could hang with uh, the newest awesome players, but I think that they are pretty much evenly matched. I mean, Reach, he has very limited time to practice these days, and Boxer just got back from the military, so he's actually had a ton of time to practice, but to be honest, <laughs> I don't think Boxer is practicing a lot. I, I mean, well, I don't mean to say that he hasn't been practicing at all, but yeah, it looks like Reach is finally taking out these uh, vultures that did get the scout on that new base coming up for Reach. So uh, Reach is scouted there, so Boxer is going to have to decide whether or not to drop that new base or do something about it.